Hello everyone, I am going to show you how I accomplish these box braids on my very, very short hair. I am nine months pregnant in this video. I always do braids for when I'm going into labor, so this time around it was no different. I decided to do braids again, except this time, you know, I just recently cut my hair and I have very short hair, so I was able to still manage to get these box braids in even though my hair is very short and I'll show you guys how. All right, you guys, so before beginning, I washed my hair and then I using my pick, I picked out my hair. It's just easier for me to be able to part, especially, you know, since my hair is so short, it was super important that I scratched it out before beginning to braid. I am using the Jumbo Cacalon uh, braiding hair. Um, I know some of the hair they come pre-scratched, so these are not pre-scratched. I literally had to do them myself. I am using these rubber bands that you guys see here to do the rubber band method. These rubber bands are strong and durable. I got this from my local beauty supply store. I'm going to apply my olive oil which will help nourish my scalp, you know, just grease my scalp up to help while these braids are in. That is super important. Do not skip this step. And using my Cantu styling gel, I applied it onto my hair to keep my hair smooth and to keep it in place before I even begin braiding. Because my hair is very, very short, as y'all can see here, I am constantly pulling the hair away from each other, making sure it's not touching the rest of the hair and making sure that I have a good, clean part. So that is what you guys see me here doing with my fingers. So as I stated before, this hair did not come pre-scratched. I had to scratch it myself to get that desired length that I was looking for, which you guys will see. I also did cut the hair in half, so the hair would have been a lot longer had I not cut it in half, but I cut it in half to give myself more hair to work with. Since I know that I would be making my braids not too big, but not too small also, so I knew that I would need a little bit more braids than what came in the pack. Now I am adding the rubber bands to my hair. Once the rubber band is added in my hair, since my hair is short, I have to pull at it. So I pull at it as you guys can see here. Um, I grab two here in each finger and I just pull at it to just tighten it up a little bit since my hair is short and I don't want the rubber bands coming out. So. As y'all can see here, I'm applying more gel to my hair. Once again, like I said earlier, this is just going to help to keep the hair in place. It's just going to help to um, make the hair come out looking really clean and just neat and fresh. So that is what I'm doing here. I've already applied my grease to my scalp. I've just been repeating the same process as y'all saw I did earlier. So All right, y'all, so I thought I had the camera recording the whole time I was doing the braids. Turns out that I did not have the camera on, but this is how far I ended up getting with the hair until I realized, oh my goodness, my camera was not recording this whole time. I'm just going to pick up from here. I'll show you guys how to begin doing the braids. So as y'all can see here, before I even begin braiding, I go ahead and I comb each part out to make it easier for when I do begin braiding. Since my hair is pretty short, I am making sure that I am gripping every last bit of this hair, making sure that the braids is tight, that it doesn't end up falling out because with short hair, it will be so easy for the braids to start falling out later if I don't make sure that they're tightened up. So I'm making sure that they're very tight um, starting off at the very base of the hair. Um, just don't make it too tight. You don't want to end up giving yourself a headache neither. But make it tight enough where it will stay in. Your braids won't just start falling out of your head.
All right, y'all, so once the hair is completely done, once you're done braiding, go ahead and grab yourself a pair of scissors. There's hair that's gonna be sticking out of the braids from you braiding it, um, if that makes sense. So just grab a scissor and just start snipping away, you know, all of that stray hair that's just sitting there, um, which will just make the hair come out looking clean and just fresh. So what I am doing here now I am sealing off the end of the braids with some hot boiling water if you don't do this your braids are going to start falling off at the very end of your braids if that makes sense so make sure you seal off your braids by using some hot water to keep the hair intact so that it doesn't start unraveling and falling apart you know as the days go by so that is what I'm doing here I'm just using hot water to seal off the ends of each braid so this portion is very tight Time consuming just make sure you sit back turn on some music and just relax and seal off the ends of each braid y'all now y'all I am just applying some gel to my edges just to lay those edges down even though I don't have much of it right now um, but yeah I'm just applying some gel to lay down my edges just to make my hair come out looking really neat and put together y'all I love me some gel for these reasons y'all so I'm completely done so this is what the hair came out looking like I am very pleased with the results of these braids um, make sure that you check my description box for the links for some of the products that I used in today's video now that we are all home and quarantined you might find these links very helpful if you are going to be doing your own very box braids as well I am just super happy that I have these braids in I don't have to worry about doing my hair once baby is here my hair is going to be completely done and ready to go and I can just focus on loving this new addition to our family so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you have not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do click that notification bell button it's going to notify you whenever I post post a new video love you guys so much thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys in my next video bye